What is going on guys, Miles here, and as you can see, I'm level 55, which means it is time for another prestige video in Black Ops 4 multiplayer, and I'll be going through some of my stats and stuff in this video, and just talking about what I've been doing this prestige, so I have changed my game modes up a little bit this prestige, as during most of like prestige 1 I was playing hardcore kill confirmed, but recently I've been doing a mix of hardcore team deathmatch as well as hardcore KC, because TDM is worth score per minute so it's going to take longer to level up but I find it to be a lot more relaxing because in hardcore KC you have all of these like sweaty players who are grinding out master prestige and level 1000 whereas in hardcore TDM it's a little bit more chill so I've been playing a fair bit of that despite it being a bit worse for leveling up. As for my weapons I've been using pretty standard stuff I've mainly been using the GKS here is the setup which I've been using in Hardcore TDM. This gun is just a monster in Hardcore so even though I got it gold this prestige and it was the only gun I did get gold this prestige, I'm still using it because it is an absolute monster. As for other weapons I've been using, I've been using a little bit of the ABR, been testing it out in Hardcore a little bit because it does one shot people which is quite nice but I've only been using this on the bigger maps in the game like Jungle where I feel like the GKS isn't that amazing. Uh, but I haven't really been using it that much other than when I've been playing jungle. It is a pretty solid gun but I still feel like the GKS is just better because it has way better handling, it takes less time to ADS so I just don't feel like there's uh, much of an incentive to use the ABR unless I'm playing on like a really huge map. So here are my stats, this is all we have for the combat record in Black Ops 4 and I'm going to compare these stats to my stats last prestige so my win loss has actually gone up a lot. It's gone from 1.95 to 2.38 which is a pretty huge jump just for one prestige so I am really happy of that especially since I am a solo player and it is quite hard to carry games on your own sometimes if you're playing solo. My KDA ratio is 2.68 which has gone up by 0.2 since my last prestige so I am really happy to see the gains on my KD ratio and I don't really know why but my KD in Black Ops 4 is so much higher than any other Call of Duty. I have no idea exactly why that is. Maybe it's because I've started playing hardcore and I'm surprisingly good at it compared to core. Don't really know but I'm definitely not going to complain. But I feel like my biggest improvement this prestige was in my score per minute. As you can see it is now 481 whereas last prestige it was only 438 so this prestige alone my score per minute has gone up by like 44 which is pretty mad actually but I do expect it to plateau fairly soon because my score per minute was quite low when I was playing core but then when I switched to hardcore it was going up a lot but now it's beginning to plateau out because if I go to my hardcore TDM leaderboards you see my score per minute is 506 and if I go to hardcore kill confirmed it is 650 so we are closing in on those numbers and I expect it to slow down next prestige. And then of course we have the healing per game as well as the damage per game. Both of those have gone down a lot but that is expected when you play hardcore because you never really heal and you don't really do as much damage. But for the medals I am quite happy with my improvements this prestige as I finally managed to get a relentless medal and I actually got it twice. Both times I got exactly a 20 kill streak and then died which quite sucks but really want to get a nuclear but it just seems really difficult. I don't know why I can't get nuclears in Call of Duty even though I've got like a pretty decent KD ratio you would expect I maybe have like one of them but I don't. I do only have a 20 kill streak and I suppose it is quite hard to get nukes in hardcore but I really would like to get one at some point in Black Ops 4 that would be absolutely amazing and also I did get an ultra kill whilst I was playing like hardcore kill confirmed on Nuketown I believe that is seven rapid kills but that's definitely a big improvement over last prestige where my highest multi kill was only a fury kill so those are my stats for Prestige 2, let's head into 3rd Prestige. To be honest I think the icon for Prestige 2 looks a little bit better but it's not the end of the world having to use this Viking icon for Prestige 3. I do think it does look quite nice and I'm definitely looking forward to the cooling card you get for it as well. There we have it, we are now Prestige 3. I need to uh, decide what I'm going to use my permanent unlock token on. I haven't actually taken that into consideration, which I probably should have done before I made this video. I think I might be saving a perk because 
I'm using the GKS as you guys know and I already have that weapon saved so I feel like I should just save parts of that creator class which are really good so I'm just looking to see what perks I use and what level you unlock them. Uh, we have Dead Silence, don't really use that. I do use Cold Blooded but it is only level 15. I think I might actually have all my perks unlocked at level 1 besides Cold Blooded. I'm pretty sure that is the case so I honestly have no idea what I should spend my unlock token on. Alright so it took me a little bit of a while but I finally decided I think I'm going to be keeping my strike team for this prestige because it is a level 39 kill streak and I do think it's one of the best streaks in the game and I use it whenever I have it unlocked and since it is a pretty high level I'm just going to use my permanent unlock token on it. But there we have it, that is my third prestige video for Black Ops 4. Let me know what level you guys are down in the comments below and I need to change my character because I do not use battery at all. I don't like that specialist and I'm going to go back to Crash because Crash is the best specialist in the game. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more but I'll see you guys in another video.